Buick City, the former core plant for luxury vehicles, is getting new life and a facelift in Flint, and it's expected to bring thousands of jobs to the vehicle city. Thanks for watching the news at 530. I'm David Custer live from our Flint studio. TV5's James Felton has more on the goals to rejuvenate Buick City and the goals moving forward. This is a game changer. Flint Mayor Sheldon Neely talking about money aimed at bringing new activity to the dormant Buick City site. Earlier this week, the city of Flint announced the use of $3.25 million in ARPA funds toward redevelopment of the Brownfield. Right now, Ashley Capital is looking to purchase the property from Racer Trust. Once the sale is finalized, Ashley Capital plans to build a state-of-the-art industrial park that is expected to bring around 3,000 jobs to Flint. Ashley Capital Senior Vice President Susan Harvey says this funding is a big step forward. When all the buildings were demolished, all the underground utilities and foundations and concrete slabs were left in place making it really expensive to come in and redevelop the site just to get it up to what we would call a normal brownfield. Um, so this, uh, the funding, the grants that we're getting is, is going to make that part of the redevelopment possible. The CS Mott Foundation is also pitching in $2 million for this endeavor. President and CEO Ridgeway White tells us the grant money is tied to performance. They're contingent upon Ashley Capital developing 275,000 square feet of space. We want to make sure that private companies live up to their promises in Flint. A promise Ashley Capital says it plans to keep. Harvey tells us while the finish line is closer, the tape hasn't been broken yet. Racer Trust is still working out the environmental agreements with the EPA and with Eagle. Uh, we will be closing on the property when they get those agreements worked out, which should happen at the end of this year, maybe going into the first month or two of the next year. Harvey tells us the goal is to begin construction here early next year with the hope of a new business moving in by early 2024. Reporting in Flint, James Felton, WNEM TV5. Ashley Capital is seeking a total of $17 million in grant assistance to clean up the site. Flint officials say the Michigan Economic Development Corporation could grant the final $8.5 million next month to hit that $17 million mark.